looking forward to that. I think that's that's part of it. The the sort of both sets of supporters have got such a uh, a reputation for being noisy and, and being uh, very vocal in the support. So yeah, I think it'll make a great atmosphere and one I'm certainly looking forward to in the stadium. I mean, I know people talk about them being big and strong physical teams, both teams, but they've also got some wonderful, skillful players as well. And I'm hoping that, that it's a game of football where football's the winner and, and refereeing and the match officials just stay out of the way. I think it's, it's just that you, you want to start well, it's like a player wants to start well, it's like a, you, you hear them talk about the goalkeeper getting an early touch of the ball and things like that, that's all it is, it's just getting the, the little decisions right. Not so much dream about it, I do, I do think about games as in preparing for games, I do run a lot of things through my mind as in positioning and certainly at stadiums that I've been to, just where I will be at certain times in the game, my, my, my movement, um, but not so much dream, I don't dream about games, no. I don't normally read papers anyway, I don't look at the papers, I'm not into the media side of it, I watch the occasional sports news bulletins and things like that, but not, um, I don't go reading media to be honest. Yeah, definitely, um, you, you, on a normal game you know your appointments the week prior to it. Obviously I've got a bit longer on this one, so I know the two teams, I'll watch the teams play. I think it's important that you do prepare for games and, and that we don't go into it totally blind. Um, it's not sort of preconceived ideas whatsoever, but you do have an awareness of what, what to expect. Yeah, I, I Done it for the last few years, the same sort of thing, get to the get to the changing room, kit out, kit hung up, boots, everything laid out so I'm, I'm sure that everything's right. Music in the changing room, I always play music in the changing room. I've got a variety of music, <laughs> a variety of music taste really. It, it ranges from Erasure, Queen, to Oasis, to uh, all sorts of sort of modern dance music. Definitely my iPod, yeah, I'm in charge of the changing room and uh, it's my music, so yeah. I think it's important that the boys enjoy it. I think that's that's the big thing, certainly on a game like this. It's a one-off for all of us, so go out, enjoy it, be relaxed, take the occasion, and I think that, that's important. And do what you do week in, week out. The reason that the boys are on the game, the reason that we are a, a, a team on this game is because We've done well and, and we should go out there and enjoy it. Enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the occasion of, of being there. It's a tremendous honour to be there. I think every, every referee is a frustrated footballer. I think if you're honest, then I think we all are. I think we all love the game that much that, that we would love to be out there playing. But refereeing gives you so many other options and, and it's fantastic to go out there as the ref as well. That, Nobody can buy that, nobody can change that, the fact that I'm walking out there as, as match referee on that game, so uh, probably not, I'd rather be refereeing.